Hello everyone, this is Sarah, the Healthy Home Economist. And what am I going to show you today? Well, I thought and thought, I've got so many things I want to show you on these videos and it's hard for me to decide every week what to do and I try to mix it up so that some of the new people will um, find things that are helpful for them as well as, as people who've been doing uh, traditional cooking for a while. So what I came up with today is a dish that is adapted out of nourishing traditions and it's a dish that uh, is, it's, I call it fermented potatoes. Okay, so we're going to ferment potatoes here. And the reason I like this particular dish is so many times we think of fermented dishes like sauerkraut, uh, beet kvass, and various things like that that are condiments, um, particularly sauerkraut and um, apricot chutney and some of these other fermented dishes that I've done. They're nice little condiments with your meal, but we don't really tend to ferment starchy foods very much. And starchy foods make a great side dish with a steak or a hamburger or a grass-fed burger, of course, or something like that. And a lot of people have trouble with starches nowadays. St starch is difficult to digest. It's a very complex molecule. Well, it's actually a, a simple molecule, but you've got a lot of them strung together and the, the gut tends to have trouble breaking it down unless your gut is in very, very good shape which is why if you're following the GAPS diet, which is the diet based on gut and psychology syndrome, or the specific carbohydrate diet, starch is not permitted on either of those diets um, because of its difficulty to digest. But say you're coming off of those, you've been on those diets for a while, or maybe you're just trying to limit your starch and you would like to have a way to eat your starch that's a little bit more uh, digestible, this would be a great dish for you to make and have in the refrigerator to have as a condiment with your meals, particularly meats like steak or something like that, chicken, whatever. So what I've got here is I've cooked up four cups of potato and I prefer organic Yukon gold potatoes. To me, the taste of those potatoes is superior to organic russet potatoes or even red potatoes. I just love the Yukon Gold potatoes. And make sure you get organic because uh, organic potatoes have such a superior flavor to uh, non-organic potatoes. So take, it's worth the extra money to buy them. So I have baked four cups worth of um, Yukon Gold potatoes and I've peeled them and I've mashed them. And here's what I have in the bowl here. Now the next thing you're going to do to make this dish is get yourself some yogurt or some kefir or even some clabbered milk or buttermilk would be fine. Now I've got, I've got raw yogurt here and you're going to notice that the consistency of this is more like kefir. Raw yogurt is a much more um, drinkable consistency than kefir so that's why you're going to see me pour it here rather than scoop it out. So I've got the one cup of raw yogurt. Let me get one more cup here. There's two cups of my raw yogurt. I'm also going to use one tablespoon of sea salt. And I'm going to use pink Himalayan salt for this particular dish. Pink Himalayan salt imparts a, super, a superior flavor, I think, when it comes to potatoes. I have my kind of my favorite sea salts, depending on what I'm cooking. And I really do like this particular salt with potatoes. So I'm going to sprinkle on tablespoon of that and then I'm going to start mixing it in just a bit. It's going to take a little bit of work to mix all this in. Okay, we have mixed up our yogurt and our potato and you can see now that the liquid has been, it actually looks like mashed potatoes now. If you look at the consistency of it, it really does look like mashed potatoes. Now we are going to just cover this now. We're, we're done. This is, all we have to do is let the probiotic, the beneficial bacteria in the yogurt 
work on this starch for a couple days on the counter. It's going to break it down. Then when you eat the potatoes after it's been fermented, your gut's going to say thank you. It's going to have to do a lot less work to digest it and get the nutrition out of it. So we are going to leave these. Did you get a good shot of that? How it's a consistency of mashed potatoes. We're going to just simply cover this with a nice clean cloth, a cloth that has never been bleached. And we're just going to cover it like that. And we're just going to leave it on the kitchen counter for two days. And as I said, let the beneficial bacteria in that raw yogurt work on all that starch and break it down. And then we're going to either transfer it to mason jars and refrigerate it or put it in a bowl with a lid and refrigerate it. And it should last several weeks, even a month or two in the refrigerator because remember fermentation is a form, an old form of um, food preservation. Not only enhanced the nutrition and digestibility of the food, but it also enhanced the shelf life. And this was in pre-refrigeration time. So um, go ahead and give this a try. If starch is something that you're having a little trouble with in your diet or you just would like to add a probiotic aspect to some of your side dishes with your steak, make your fermented potato and uh, let me know what you think. This is Sarah, the Healthy Home Economist, and I'm wishing you all the best in the kitchen.